Hello friends, welcome back to our Python series, Python for Network Engineer. If you remember, we are discussing the operator. Let me show you. We discuss all operator. Let me show you. See here. We discuss this one, assignment, compare, logical. Now we need to discuss this one, identity operator. After that, we have two more membership and bitwise operator. Then our operator will be finished for the Python. The Python operator will be finished. After that, I will share this note in our WhatsApp group so you can get the note from there. Okay, so let's do this one identity operator. What we are doing this with this operator? With this operator, we are checking the object in the memory. Let me show you, give you example. Let's go to that point. I already prepared some points for that one. Let me show you. We are going to do this in IPython also just to have the idea if you see here let me make little zoom so you can see very clearly see here python identity operator python identity operator is a type of operator which is uh, which used to check if the variable point to the same object in the memory or not example if i have one variable if i say a is equal to r1 a is equal to r1 b is equal to r1 okay any example you can take r1 or r2 or s1 i can write a is equal to s1 let's take this one b is equal to s2 s1 s2 is nothing but switch so what i am saying if a is equal to s1 b is equal to also s1 i am writing both are s1 then we are going to compare i will write a is b then answer what we will get we will get true okay so here i done this lab example see here what i done in the python i assign one variable here i assign same variable r2 to the variable b and here i wrote a is b so we get the answer as a true but this is not a comparison if you want to compare we will write a double is equal to b that is used for comparing the operator this one is not for comparing operator what we are doing here we are checking if the variable pointing to the same object in the memory means in the memory if the object is same or not same memory is using the object or not we are we are verifying let's do a small lab then you will have the idea so let me show you let me open the ipython then i will show you this one so you will have the idea so let me open this one this is a python our command prompt i am going to open here ipython I open IPython. Now here I will assign A is equal to, I will write S1. Okay, S1. So what I am saying, A is equal to S1, I will write B is equal to S1. Same value I am giving. And I will write A is B. It is giving true. A is B as a true. Let me, this is one example. By seeing this example, maybe you are thinking, I am comparing, I am saying this A value is equal to S1, B value is also S1. And when I write is in between two variables, they are going to compare and give the answer as a true. Not like this. They are not comparing this variable. If you want to compare the variable, we will write like this. A is double equal to B. This With this command, we will use to compare. With this command, we can compare the two variables in the Python. But here I am writing A is B. A is B. Here I am not checking the variable are equal or not. Here what I am checking? Here I am checking the memory. If you see here, Python identity operator is a type of operator. We check if the variable pointing to the same object in the memory or not. Means the whatever variable we are having that is present in the same memory or not. They are present in the same memory. That's why it is saying true if you want to check memory we can check memory also how we will check the memory i wrote already here when i give you notes you can revise also with this command let me write here i want to check the memory i will write id id of a id of a example i wrote like this id of a what memory i am getting i am getting this value now i will do for the id of b also let me write here id of b id of b if i write id of b see this value and this value both where you are same or different check here one four zero six four four 
वन फोर जीरो सिक्स फोर फोर थ्री एट टू फाइव नाइन सिक्स एट थ्री हियर थ्री एट टू फाइव नाइन सिक्स एट सो बोथ आर हैविंग द सेम लोकेशन सेम लोकेशन इट इज स्टोर दैट्स वाई इट इज गिविंग द आंसर एज ए ट्रू नाउ लेट मी टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई विल टेक सी इज इक्वल टू आई विल राइट हियर एस वन इज ए स्विच ओके आई विल क्लोज दिस वन I let me write here. I assign this one. Okay, I assign this in the C one. Now I will do for the D. I will write D is equal to. I will put this one. I will write S two is a switch. I am. I will write same sentence. I am writing same thing. Whatever I wrote, I assign here C and D. Now I will come. I will do the comparison. We cannot say comparison. Comparison is used to just compare the two variable. I am using this operator. Identity operator. Why I am using to check the memory for the same object? It is same or different. So how I will check? I will write here C space is and D and D. If you see here and D, and then I will press enter here. Let me. I think this hang or yeah. If you see here. C is D. Then answer we are getting false. Why we are getting false? This is same string. I wrote S one is a switch. Okay, let me correct here. I wrote S two here. Let me correct and show you. So what I will do? Let me write here D is equal to S one is a switch. Okay. Now. I have D and C. If you want, I can print. I can verify. If you see, when I print D, S one is a switch. Let me print C. I will write here C also. S one is a switch. Both are same. Now I am going to check that one identity operator. If I want to check, I will write C is D, and I press enter. Then I am getting the false. Why I am getting false? Both are having the same string. Both are having the same string, but they are answer is false. If you see here also, I have both are having the same string, but answer is true. And when we verify, we verify the location of the memory. It is same. That's why it is true. But here, when we take only the small string, they are taking the same memory location. But when we are using the little big string, it is taking the different memory location. Let let me show you. I will write ID of C. I will press enter. Then I will write ID of D. And I will press enter. If you see here, ID of C and ID of D both are different location. String is same here. Whatever I have in the C, whatever I have in the D, both are same. But if you check the memory location, both are different. Okay, here five one till here it is same. After that here zero five five six six four. Here I have three eight six one zero four. That's why we are getting the answer as a false here. so with this one what we learn we learn that this operator that is identity operator is used to check the uh, same object in the memory like we will verify because in the coding we are going to use this one also example if you want to check this value is stored in the same location or different location if it is stored in the same location increment that one or decrement that one we are going to use that one for that purpose we are going to Uh, use this operator so just remember python identity operator is a type of operator which check if the variable pointing to the same memory same object in the memory and we can uh, assign this is example and we will use is in between this variable to verify that one an example if you want to check the location we we can check the location also i taken another example here i wrote s1 is a, is a router S one is a router. I wrote and I compared. I done this identity variable between C and D. We get answer as a false. And if you want to check the location, we will write ID of whatever variable you want. We can write like this without a space. If we give a space, sometimes we have the error. So we can write like this. Okay. And we can revert also. Example, if you want to get the answer in negative, we can use the not operator. How we will use the not operator? Example, I am writing here. C is equal to uh, C is equal to S one is a router. D is equal to S one is a router. And here I am comparing, right? Not comparing identity. I am checking the memory location is same or not. 
so what i wrote c is d in our previous but here i will write c is not d so then it will reverse the result it will invert the result so we can use not operator like this way also example here let me show you where we wrote here let me show you here i have a and b something here let me press a i have a as a s1 i have b as a s2 let me check c is equal to s1 and d is equal to this one okay so what i will do a is b i wrote a is b when i wrote a is b then we get the answer as a true but if you want to get as a negative answer then how we will do i want to show you that one if you want to get the negative answer how we can do what we will do i will write a is then i will write not b a is not b and we will press enter so i whatever answer i am getting that will have the opposite so in the coding whenever we are going to start that one that time maybe we will use this also because if you have some answer you need to give the input of uh, opposite of that answer to other router or in any other command in the code we can use these types of operator okay so this is clear i hope and this is very simple don't worry about this one if you practice you will have the idea just remember python identity operator is used to uh, like uh, point the same object in the memory and we can verify this one this is uh, we use is in between two variable and if you want to check the location we will write id of whatever the variable and if you see if we have only single string single they will store in the same memory but if you have large string they will take the two different memory okay so in our next class we are going to cover the remaining i hope we have more to operator this one we finish now we have more to operator so in two class we will finish this then we will start the next topic whatever is pending in our python series okay thank you very much for seeing our video subscribe to our channel share with your friend who is interested in ccna ccnp and python thank you bye